what's up everybody how's it going today for you guys i have the top five best guns in modern warfare zombies i'm not going to be including any wonder weapons in my list because i just think that that's unfair they're obviously going to be better than any gun in the game and even then there are some weapons in the game right now that are currently better than some of the wonder weapons that i prefer to use over like the ray gun and the wonder waff i'm going to be talking about what makes each weapon special and what makes each special unique and why i put them at the spot that they're in currently as well as i'm also going to show you the best class setups that i would recommend using and the ones that i would personally run myself when going into a game and real quickly right before i get into it if you guys want to see more stuff like this some more tutorials some more guides and tier lists make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this and let's just get straight into the list all right so coming into the number five spot this one's actually going to be a weird one it's going to be the ton foot now the ton foot is a melee weapon that is from modern warfare now not only is it special because it's the only melee weapon featured on this list but it also does high amounts of damage in the tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 zones and even in the dark ether the damage output of this melee weapon is so high that not only does it smack through tier 3 disciples and manglers but it also destroys mega abominations in just a few hits i think one of the biggest parts that makes this melee weapon strong too is that while you're hitting zombies with it it stuns them and it even stuns the bosses too so you can continue whacking them with the melee weapon and they just will stand there taking hits like it's nothing now one of the biggest reasons on why it's on the highest spot on this list and not anywhere lower is because you can't really use it for any boss fight for those of you guys who don't know after completing the act 3 and act 4 mission you will fight a big warm boss fight and even if you're doing the red seeker warm boss fight to unlock those legendary schematics you also have to do a harder version of the boss fight and using the melee weapon just does not do any damage at all because the actual spot where you have to shoot at the word shoot at is in a spot where you can't hit with a melee weapon and you can only shoot at it that's basically all i have to say about this melee weapon go ahead and use it if you want to have some fun too it's a really fun weapon to use to run around with you have that movement speed you have that fun just smacking around zombies there's no class setup since it's just a melee weapon you can just go ahead right and equip it but moving on to the next spot the fourth weapon on this list is going to be the holger 556 assault rifle now when making this list i was going to originally put the holger 556 at number five and put the melee weapon at number four but there's just one thing the holger 556 has over the melee weapon and it's that you can add actually shoot at the bosses and for the warm boss fight for the harder version the red worm it is honestly the best gun that you could use for that boss fight if you don't use that gun or use any other gun i probably 70 percent guarantee that you're not going to complete that boss fight the reason i say this is because the mobility that you have with the assault rifle is just very nice you can move around you're very agile it reminds me of like an lmg from black ops 3 where you can run around still have that movement but also put in extreme damage at the same time with a high number of bullets in your clip with a high number of bullets in your round and just have that extreme damage output with all that mobility now the problem with the holger and where it lacks is when you're not using it with a legendary ether tool when you're just using it with like a blue ether tool with a blue wrench green wrench with just regular pack punch tier 2 or tier 3 it just doesn't put enough damage into the zombies not as much as i would want it to especially for such a good gun like the holger and that's one of the biggest things that i find weird about this game is how a gun could be so like useless listen so like low outputting of damage on zombies sometimes and how it could be so good against bosses but i mean that's call of duty and call of duty got some unsolvable mysteries that man i don't even want to go into because i don't understand how this game could be so broken but enough of that before i turn this entire video into a rant about call of duty but moving on to the next spot in the number three spot i actually have a different type of gun this one is actually a little different from the rest it's not a melee weapon or it's an automatic weapon it's actually going to be the rocket launcher the rgl the noob tube and when i first started using this weapon in zombies i didn't think anything of it i just picked it up as a means to just use the weapon but then as i started using it i started upgrading it and put a legendary ethical on it i realized this weapon is actually pretty strong it kills just about any zombies in any tier it stuns them so if you have a few zombies on you and they're chasing you you can actually even if you don't kill them you still stun them and blow them back so it gives you extra space so you can run away from them so they just don't stun you all the time especially since in the tier 3 zone the zombies are faster than you when you don't have stamina up and even when you do have stamina up the tier 3 zombies are still faster than you and the hellhounds are faster than you one thing about this weapon though is that you are going to need pac flopper if not it's not going to be a very fun day for you because the explosive damage on this and the range of the explosive 
explosives are not very fun. But once you do go ahead and get PhD, you can continuously spam the explosions, spam the rockets, and it becomes the funnest thing ever. You could just sit there in a corner having all the zombies run to you and spam the rockets and all of them will just straight die. Now ammo wise, when you first load into a game with the RGL, you're only going to have 12 bullets. But once you do a go and get the gun pack once you are going to have a total of 70 around 70 bullets so you're going to have enough ammo to work with what you got i did bring this into the boss fight i can't really tell how much um damage it was doing to the boss since i did have a bunch of sentry turrets placed down and the sentry turrets were doing a lot of damage but i can't say that it definitely did put in a little bit of damage a little bit of work but i don't know if it is better in the whole group in regards of putting in damage towards the boss there's no class setup for this since you can't add any attachments to the rgl so just equip it and just bring it into a game the way it is now moving on to the number two spot i have the wasp forms with the akimbo mod on them so the wasp forms are very special in the way that they have a bunch of ammo you have around 200 bullets in the clip with like 600 in the reserves and i'm not talking about with both gun combines i'm talking each gun has 600 bullets on the reserve and each gun has 200 bullets in the clip which means you can infinitely span this up to 400 bullets all at once if you guys didn't know you guys can actually infinitely shoot these wasp forms if you go ahead and you shoot 50 bullets out of one gun first and after you shot 50 bullets out of one gun you could go ahead and start shooting both of them at the same time and while you are reloading one the other will be still shooting so by the time that you are done reloading with that one the other one will also reload so you're just infinitely shooting and with the fact that you can pick up ammo from zombies that means that you will easily be able to pick up infinite ammo making this just a gun that just infinitely works which is actually insane so i noticed that you're shooting so quickly out of these swarms that you actually end up stunning the zombies and stunning the boss zombies so for example when I was shooting at a mangler, I was shooting so fast that I was stunning him in place. He wasn't able to shoot me. He wasn't able to do any moves that were able to shoot me. He was just walking endlessly towards me. And I kept shooting him to the point where he just eventually died. Now, the easily the best part about these weapons are how useful they are in the boss fights. Since they are SMGs, basically like SMG pistols, you can run incredibly fast with them. And with all the bullets in them, it makes the Act 3 story boss fight and the Act 4 story boss fight incredibly easy to do. I was able to easily bang those out without having any trouble on solo because of these SMG pistols. So here's the setup that I used for my wasp form. So I have the wasp akimbo brace stock on here, the conversion kit that makes it akimbo. I have a 100 round drum magazine. I have the marauder rear grip. I have the hip out 20 laser and I have the pestilence 12 short barrel. This is the overall best build that i have come to build so far if there is a better build i'll let you guys know if you guys want to say follow up a quick update that i make such as like when i post something about that just go ahead and follow me on twitter my link for that will be in the description and moving on to the final gun on this list which is i think it's the best gun i think that this gun might get patched soon or i think they just might never touch it because it's that good and these are going to be the akimbo snake shop pistols the tears now where do i start with the tears the tears are honestly just the most overall busted weapon in the game they go around and they destroy any boss in the game this is including mega abominations the storm caller boss that's in the storm any mangler any disciple and it destroys any iteration of the worm boss fight doesn't matter if it's red worm act three or act four the mobility with this weapon is just perfect it's literally two pistols that you're running around with i don't think it gets any better than that in terms of mobility the range on it is phenomenal even if it's just a pistol with the snake shot attachments you still have a little bit of range that you're working with and even then you don't even need the range because you're doing so much damage and you're shooting so many shots that you're also still stunning the zombies this bad boy is basically the wonder weapon that is not the wonder weapon this is like the main staple when you think about the most broken guns in the game you think about the tier and the fact that you could just boost shot the mega abomination which is supposed to be the hardest boss in terms of like regular mini bosses that are in the map and you just walk around two shotting them like it's nothing that's how you know this gun is insane not only is it insane on the mini boss and just the regular zombies but it's also insane at the worm boss if you're trying to get these worm bosses done completely solo completely easily i would recommend easily taking them to tears they do the job they do insane amount of damage they 
do more damage than probably the turrets do. The only downside to the tiers is that they have five bullets into the clip, but you still have a bunch of ammo that you have in the reserve. So this weapon would have been absolutely insane. I don't know why it's the only weapon in the game that they decided not to put any ammo into the clip. I guess they just knew that the weapon was going to be busted and putting more ammo into the clip when packed punching it was going to literally break the game. But that's basically it for the tiers. For the attachments for the barrel, I run the Z016 heavy long barrel. For the laser, I run the 1WMW pistol laser. Uh, for the rear grip, I have the akimbo on there, obviously. For the trigger action, I have the, the Euler's Fury. And for the ammunition, I have the snake shots on there. Anyways, guys, that's basically going to wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more content like this, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.